I'm an optimist. My work is very special. I help people to recover from neurological disorders that are considered to be incurable. I have this box with me today because it is a symbol. We are told that we think in boxes, and in fact, we do. A box is a framework for your mind made of limits. We have been taught limits. We are constantly creating limits for our minds. We create walls for our imagination not to trespass. We have been expected. The solution for neurological conditions such as dystonias, Parkinson's disease, generalized dystonias, or even cerebral palsy, to be a new drug or a new device. This is what we saw with the discovery of penicillin or the design of the first pacemaker. We are expecting the future to be as the past was. But we can think outside of this box. I ask you to stop a second and start imagining. Imagine that in the future, we can treat conditions that we are not able to treat successfully today. Imagine that your own movements can be organized in such a way that they become meaningful for your brain, like a language in code that only your brain can understand. Imagine that we crack this code. And using this language in code, we can ask your brain to release tensions that have been sustained for more than 30 years in your body. We can ask your brain to bring movements, emotions, sensations back to life. We can even ask your brain to change its own structure and function. This new form of therapy will not need to be manufactured or produced, but taught. This new treatment will have the same quality, the same efficiency in countries of the first world or the third world. We will prescribe organized movements, choreographies, specific choreographies for specific conditions, for specific patients. Now, I ask you to stop imagining, because this revolution is happening right now. Using this technique, Ignacio was able to play golf again. Wendy, after 30 years dealing with constant tremors in her legs, is able to sit still and stand. Carol was able to face the light with her eyes open. Maria was able to write again. In cases like this, you can get results just in four consecutive days. Zach, after eight years dealing with constant spasms in his arms, is now playing tennis and winning. For many different reasons, your brain can forget familiar movements, making it difficult for you to blink, walk, talk, eat by yourself, or write. A neural software can be degraded or missing. The work of my life has been harnessing neuroplasticity to help patients affected by dystonia to remember those movements in a quest for recovering control over their lives. What amazed me most is when the movements are, and the neural software is not accessible in the brain. You can transfer it from another person. It looks like movement is learned and modulated socially. Our mothers told us how to blink, not only how to, you know, how to, how to read or our language, also taught us essential skills 
that we consider to be innate. When the, when the, um, the neural software is not accessible in the brain, you can transfer by mimicking another person's movement and make them yours. When your brain accepts the transfer, a neuroplastic change will start. It's a reorganization of the whole brain. And in the end, you will not be able to, to, to see the difference between the movements that you have lost and the ones that you have just installed. If you do research in neuroscience, you have to be a skeptic. So we put the findings to the test, and we were surprised to see that the brain activity changes and returns to normal. I believe that this discovery will profoundly change the field of brain rehabilitation. Welcome to the era of movement. Thank you.